6th grade, module 5, lesson 16, problem set. Number 1. Sketch and label the net of the following fi solid figures and label the edge lengths. A. A box of cereal that measures 13 inches high, 7 inches long, and 2 inches wide. So first, I'm going to draw that rectangular prism because it helps me kind of visualize what I'm then going to draw in my net. So it's 13 inches high, 7 inches long, and 2 inches wide. So it should be a little uh, taller and skinnier, but that's, that's okay. We get the idea of what it looks like. So what I'm going to start by is drawing the front face here the 13 by 7 and then I'm just going to kind of piece it together but instead I'll make it so 13 by 7 and then we're going to have connected to that on top here this top part is going to be 7 because it's also 7 by 2 so connected to that I'm going to have 7 by 2 7 by 2 and then on the back side of it I'm gonna have one that looks just like this so another 13 by 7 and then the base that goes along the back that we can't see the bottom here is another 7 by 2 and then we just need these two side pieces that are 2 by 13. So I'm going to connect those onto here, onto the 13. So they are 2 by 13. So those would fold up and make that rectangular prism. B, a cubic gift box that measures 8 centimeters on each side. So we're just going to draw the net of a cube. I think there's about 10 or 12 different choices, but I always think of the one that is shaped like a T. So let's pretend these are all squares and they are all eight centimeters on each side. So this one's eight centimeters. This is eight, eight, eight. Everything's, every side is eight centimeters. Challenge, write a numerical expression for the total area of the net in part B. Tell what each of the terms in your expression means. Okay, so to find the area of just one of these cubes, so let's just look at this one. It is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So to find the area of it, we would do 8 times 8, right? So we would have 8 times 8 to find the area of one of the faces. And if we wanted to do all, all of them, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different cubes. So we would just multiply that by 6. So, or you can multiply it out and do 8 times 8 plus 8 times 8 plus 8 times 8, 6 different times. But... I think this makes sense. So eight centimeters times eight centimeters. And that would get you the uh, surface area of the entire cube. Tell what each of the terms in your expression means. So let's just say there are six faces in the cube and each one has the dimensions eight centimeters by eight centimeters. All right, number two. This tent is shaped like a triangular prism. It has equilateral bases that measure five feet on each side. So it's a triangular prism because it has two bases right here and they measure five, so there's the front base and the back base, so it's a prism, not a pyramid, 
and they measure five feet on each side. So five feet, five feet, five feet. The tent is eight feet long. So then the whole thing here, this is eight feet long. Sketch the net of the tent and label the edge lengths. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, this bottom part here, this rectangle on the bottom. So it's an eight by five rectangle. So we have eight feet by five feet. And then there are three of them. So there's this one on the side and then the other one along this side over here. So I'm gonna connect three of them because they're all connected. So another eight feet by five feet. And now we just need to attach these rectangles or these, sorry, triangles onto the side. So you can attach them on any of the sides that are five feet. I'm gonna do the middle ones. And these are five feet on all three sides. Five feet. So there's the net, or one example of what your net could look like. Number three, the base of a table is shaped like a square pyramid. So a square pyramid, meaning the base is gonna be a square, and then all of the sides fold up to a pyramid. So the pyramid has equilateral faces that measure 25 inches on each side. The base is 25 inches long. So all these sides are 25 inches. 25, 25 inches, 25 inches. So what would we need to put on all sides to make it fold into a pyramid? We would have triangles And this is just one choice of what it would be. So all of those triangles would fold up to make a square pyramid. And again, there are multiple nets you could create. This is the one that I chose to make or the one that came to mind for me. Number four. The roof of a shed is in the shape of a triangular prism. So now we have a triangular prism, meaning it has two, two triangle bases, whereas this only had one base because it was a pyramid. If it has equilateral bases that measure three feet on each side, the length of the roof is 10 feet. Sketch the roof net of the roof and label the edge lengths. Okay, so we have a roof. It has equilateral bases that are three feet on each side. So it, the triangle bases are three feet on each side. So we'll get to that. The length of the roof is 10 feet. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle. So we have three different sides that are gonna fold up to the triangle and they're 10 feet by three feet. So this is also 10 feet by three feet, and 10 feet by three feet. And then the prism sides are gonna be on either side. And these are all three feet by three feet by three feet. And then there's two of them because it's a prism, two bases, and all sides are three feet.